Hello everybody, this is Taylor Moss here from Everything Under the Sun, and today I got an email from one of our subscribers asking how to tell if you have a 32-bit operating system or a 64-bit operating system, and then they also asked how to run programs that were made for earlier versions of Windows, so how to run Windows Vista or Windows XP programs in Windows 7, so I'm going to show you guys how to do both of those. So to tell if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit operating system, just click on the start circle or the start bar if you're on Windows XP and go up to a computer on Windows XP, it'll be called My Computer. Uh, just right click on that and go to Properties and it will bring up this. It's the system information, it'll tell you a little info about your computer and then right here it'll say 64-bit or 32-bit operating system. Um, up here at the top you can see that it says what version of Windows we have, so if we don't know uh, what specific version we have we can find out there and right here we see it says 64-bit operating system so we know only to get 64-bit um, programs alright so that's how you figure that out um, now for the compatibility um, if you right click on any icon or any program on your computer and go down to properties it will bring up the properties for it where you can change a whole ton of things but if you go to the compatibility tab this is where you'll be able to enable compatibility mode and you can actually just select the version of Windows that that program was made for so if you're trying to run a really old game or something that you know used to work on your old computer but it was Windows XP and you have Windows 7 you can just change that to hit service pack 2 or 3 and then hit apply. You can also run as administrator, disable visual themes, force it to run at a certain resolution. There's a lot of variation in what you can do here and um, it's really easy to do. So that's basically um, all you need to know on how to check if you have a 32 or 64 operating system and how to run older programs in Windows 7. Thanks, hope you guys learned something and if you guys have any suggestions for future videos just let us know in the comment section. Thanks!